we have two teams tonight, Steve, that love to take their time working it up court. When you played, which were the best teams at grinding it out in slower games? You know, I think the Chicago Bulls, that triangle offense, I mean, they ran on fast break on their defense, but on the offensive end, they wanted to wear you down with that triangle offense and the teams that had dominant post players. They would get it down to them, make you double team, the ball would move around. Uh, and that was pretty much Shaq teams and Akeem Olajuwon teams, guys who had dominant centers. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Here is Wong. Back to Harold. And Harold shoves it in. I mean, a dunk machine dating back to high school. Montrez Harold is an absolute monster around the rim. Now here's Curry. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That's his first foul. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. Here's Curry. He's one of the better scorers in the league, averaging almost 25 points a game. Four on the clock. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. with possession. Now Wolf. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Yo, yo, yo. And a wide open look for Walker. No good on the triple. And so it's Wall. He brings it up for the Wizards. Here's Heal. Banked in off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Ball with the steal. And here we go. Washington fast break. Ball going up court. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. And the Warriors miss again. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a detachment. Yeah, ferocious at the rim. Bagley can finish with power or finesse. Now here's Curry. Curry on the wing. They need this one. And the layup is up and in. A very aggressive play by Stephen Curry. Driving it to the teeth of the defense. Outside, Wall. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. That'll be a five-second call. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Pass to heel. They get the rebound. Brown outside. And the Warriors can't hang on to the ball. Boy, if you're the coach, you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. In the quarter, it's healed. A three-pointer is right on target. Healed's got five points so far. And you've got to be up on heel, especially when he's beyond the arc. If not, he'll burn you. Now here's White. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. 
five to shoot. And Curry, here we go. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That'll be his second foul of the game. The question is, do you leave him in? Obviously, you don't want him to pick up a third foul this early. Pass to Curry. Three-pointer. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. They're getting him shots in his spots. That's understanding your personnel. And, you know, you see it every day, but it still doesn't make it any less impressive. The amount of skill Steph Curry has on the floor, the shooting, the passing, the agility, he has it all. The Warriors trailing. Pass to Carroll. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. You could argue Curry is one of the most skilled players of all time. The shooting of home puts him in the conversation, and very few can match up to just that. Guys like LeBron and Wilt dominate with their size and athleticism, but Curry is an all-time great because of his once-in-a-lifetime skill. Wizards with the lead. All with it. Nothing out on the scoreboard for him. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Steve, the number of timeouts and even fouls have dropped in recent years. Do you think that's brought a better flow uh, to the game? Yeah, I think so. I know we have so many... So much stoppage in our game, especially when they go to the referee's review. If we could do something about that. and But I love that they've dropped the number of timeouts to keep the flow of the game. That's what most fans want to see, just the flow of the game continue. Switch, 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 switch. Pass to White. And the rejection by Harold. Oh, and here we go. Wall's got it. The best for a chance. And finish off by Bagley. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. Outside curve. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Down low. There's Harold. And Harold slams it in. Breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dog. A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Back to Curry. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Curry's got seven points. Man, he's having quite a quarter converting at a really high percentage. Back to Heald. From deep. Offensive rebound. Outside for Bagley. That's the free fly. It's good from long range. He's got seven. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. To the middle. Oh. <laughs> Unselfish play right there. Curry with the patience to wait for someone to break free. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. So both teams changing it up here. Warriors trail by five. Astro Aminu. 
Thompson outside. And there's the foul. It's on Kadeem Allen. That is his first foul of the game. There's a minute 47 left in the first. White left side. Down to five on the shot clock. And again, no good by Golden State. Wizards leading by five. Allen for three. But they'll get another chance. The kick out to Young. Wizards keeping it alive in a fresh 14 second shot clock. They double team Walker. And finish off by Walker. And the one hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. I agree. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Back to Allen. Shoots over White. And the shot no good, a bit short. And so White will bring it up for the Warriors. It's a three point game. Floats it up for Walker. And they've got to keep him off the glass. For a little guy, he can be a handful on the offensive boards if you're not aware of him. Pass to Bullock. Back to Allen. That one, no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Spellman. Inside. Aminu. Now here's White. There's the triple. Cans it from downtown. And the Warriors lead by two. And here is Allen. Up in time. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Warriors ahead as they end the first quarter with a big 11. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And taking a look at the Warriors' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? I know it's early, but all those three-pointers, boy, do they add up. And that's their strategy. Try to overwhelm you. Try to put you in a hole you have to dig yourself out of. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Well, whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny that Draymond Green is one of the more unique players in the league. There really isn't anyone else like Draymond. I mean, he does everything for a team but score. I mean, not only can he play all positions on both ends of the floor, but also to be the emotional leader, truly a special player. On the wing, Green. Evans outside. Outside curve. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Getting hit on the way up, the ability to finish in traffic might be Harold's strongest attribute offensively. To the inside. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Marvin Bagley picks one up. You know, Steve, so much goes into being an effective bench. What do you like to see in a team's sixth man? What I love, Kevin, is a guy that can come off as a sixth man is he doesn't disrupt what's going on with the starters. Also, he's ready. And most of those guys that wins that award, they don't need time to adjust to the game. They come in and make an immediate impact. And it's a defensive three-second violation. The Wizards getting their third free throw attempt of the game. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. No good on the quick three. Still trying to find the range. He hit one in the first quarter. Nothing since. 
pass to Curry. Back to Green. Here's Evans. Covered by Wall. Shot clock at six. And a deep three from Curry. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Curry's got the lead up to four now for the Warriors. Here's Wall. The kick out to Brown. Here's Harold. Nice ball movement by Washington. The Wizards with another miss. Warriors leading by four. Pass to Curry. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And it's Carroll in the corner. Outside Curry. From past the arc. That shot off. And the Wizards now going the other way. To the paint. In transition. Here come the Wizards. Bagley, no good. Curry looking around. Now Evans. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Green with the ball. It's Curry outside. Curry with another miss. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Harold trying to free himself up. And it's Wall in the corner. To the inside. T. Great D that time from Green. Pass to Curry. Left Trey. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for 10. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Brown outside. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Brown's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Evans outside. Pass to Green. And here is Curry. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Now here's Wall. Pass to Brown. In the corner, it's healed. Off target from outside. And so Curry will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. They lead by four. Here's Thompson. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Heck of a talent. Clay Thompson can flat out score. And you see he's getting more comfortable handling the rock. Outside, walk. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. And here is Curry. 13 points in the game. Pass to Aminu. Thompson the bounce pass. They get a hand on it. And stolen by Harrell. Oh, and a fast break for the Wizards. Wall with the ball. Bagley with the bucket. And that's a nice assist from Wall. Scanning the floor, just looking to find the best shot possible. Here's Curry. He's one of the better scorers in the league, averaging almost 25 points a game. Six on the shot clock. Back to Thompson. Let's it go with a three. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Practice makes perfect. Thompson is just lights out on these shots. And Lonnie Walker picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Knocked 
knocked away. Ashton Hill. And Tremont Green picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Healed outside. To the middle. And here comes Walker. Leading the fast break. Yep, that one goes. And now it's a nine-point Warrior lead. Defensively, all eyes on Clay. Great score, but also able to beat you with the pass. Now Walt. Here's Hill. The Wizards with another miss. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. Pass to Spellman. Hooked away, and it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. And Washington making a change here. And here are the Warriors now. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Ah. Three on the clock. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. It's tipped. Right side bank. The Wizards working the ball around now. Eidner can't hit. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. One fourteen left in the second quarter. Pass to Thompson. And here's Mbamute. Defended by Bank. Here's Spellman. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Spellman's got the lead up to 11 now for the Warriors. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Forty-six seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Pass to Wagner. Walker with it. He's got nine. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. But D had better start buckling now. Angley with the ball. Guarded by Walker. Will it go? And it's laid in by Bagley. Bagley's got 13. And I tell you what, when Bagley plays with energy, it is difficult trying to stop him. Awesome at just staying on the attack. Thompson outside. This one for three. Unable to get that one. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And we'll be back with you shortly. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. Now here's Allen. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Gortat. Bank shot. No good. And I'm sure next time he sits down, coach is going to have a few choice words for him with that shot selection. And you know what? He knows it. You have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. And a dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Number one. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Oh, Allen surveying the D. Pass to Bullock. Jacks up a three. Inside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. The Wizards shooting their fourth and fifth attempts to the free throw line tonight. He misses the free throw. Coaches talk about young players needing to experience the playoff to understand that level. Smitty, why is that so hard to simulate without going through it? Kevin, reasons why is in the playoffs, everything is taken to another level. Also, you see in this team, night in and night out, they know your plays, 
You know their plays. It comes down to just execution, execution, and you can't have careless turnovers or those brain freezes you have in the regular season. Ashton Gortat, and it's Gortat finishing it off. He is a big guy, and Gortat doesn't play the finesse game. This is a guy who's all about strength. Forget about laying it up there. He's going to take the power approach. Back to Green. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Right wing. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The Wizards have shot three of five at the foul line. And it's been an average year, really, at the free throw line for this group, only around 75%. And so Bullet nails both of them. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Curry with the bounce pass. Lock at six. Pass to Carroll. Here's Wagner. He's covered by Amina. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Brady lures them into a trap on the steal and then bang, straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. For three, Bullock. Warriors with the rebound. Up next, the Pacers in Indianapolis. That's game four of four out on the road for Over to the wing. Just five on the clock. There's the three. And another three for Golden State. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Wizards trailed by 12. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. It's Allen with the drive. It's good. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Timeout called the Warriors. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Warriors leading by 10. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. White bounce pass. Pass to Spellman. Back to Thompson. Six to shoot. Outside, White. Look, here's the 24 second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Here's Wall. Screen, screen, screen. It's Brown on the win. Fires for three. Doesn't go that time. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. On the wing, heel. 
from deep three-point range. It's rebounded by Golden State. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. White looking around. On the wing, Thompson. Shot clock at five. It's stolen by Wall. And court shot with the stuff. Making himself a big target in transition. Gortat, if you don't stay with him, he's going to burn. Thompson right side. Here's Spellman. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And so it's Wall. He brings it up for the Washington Wizards. Trailing here by eight. That shot, no good. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take it there. Pass to White. Outside of Walker. Top the key, Aminu. Thompson outside. To end the cold streak. That shot misses. Now Washington takes it the other way. And you look at the development of how Clay has attacked the rim over his career. What was once a weak spot for him has now become a strength as his finishing improves every year. And Washington making a change here. The Wizards working the ball around now. And Wall. Here we go now. And another miss by Washington. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. So it's the Wizards now. Eight-point game. You know what, Glenn? You're right thinking back to Thompson. He had his early struggles at the rim. And that's a distant memory to play now. I mean, he's dunking more often and with more force when he goes at the rim. It has made him an even more complete shooting guard. White bounce pass. Thompson right side. The shot, no good. And Washington the other way now. Here's Wall. It's rebounded by Golden State. I mean, that can happen to anyone, but it's ugly every time it does. Yes, getting a little ahead of himself on that play. Ball's not loose, and it's out of bounds. Well, they say it was last touch by Brown. And here's White. Pass to Aminu. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Marvin Bagley picks one up. The Warriors shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And so he hits both. Wizards trailed by eight. Took some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Outside, Wall. Back to Heald. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Heald's got nine. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Astro Aminu. Thompson outside. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Down low. Here's Heald. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And now it's fourth point Warrior lead. Aminu with it. One on two left to play here in the third. Back to Thompson. Out to the right wing. Clock at four. Bucket is good. And the Warriors lead by six. This is just running the offense the right way. Thompson very unselfish for a guy with a shoot first mindset. Pass to Harold. It's Wall with the drive. Gotta recognize the situation. Trying to get a two for one. 
Absolutely, but at the same time, you want to get a good shot. Left side, Walker. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's his first trip to the line. That free throw, no good. The Warriors making a switch here. And he sinks the second. 24 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Wall. Shot clock at six. Wall draws the double. And Harris comes it in. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does break. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. The Warriors on top by five. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. We've got the soul. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Now White. Pass to Carroll. Back to White. Four shot with the rebound. Wizards trail by five. Inside. And easy two points on the layup. Gortat's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Wizards. Pass to Spellman. Back to Walker. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Washington calls timeout. So let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Kevin, I heard what Scott Brooks said to his team. He said, guys, we don't want to play hero ball. We don't want to take threes that aren't there. There are better options when you run the offense all the way through. Kevin will see if they can make that adjustment. Thank you, David. And Derek White picks up the foul. That's his first foul. The drive by Allen. Here's Young. Lock at six. This is what Damari Carroll brings to the table. He can be really disruptive on the defensive end. Pass to Walker. Here's Spellman. Back to Walker. Excellent D there from Allen. Wizards trailed by five. Count it good. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. And it's the Warriors' ball. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Pass to Walker. Some nice passing by Golden State. And the dunk by Walker. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. About two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Young left side. Shoots over Walker. Young's shot is off. And I'm sure next time he sits down, coach is going to have a few choice words for him with that shot selection. And you know what? He knows it. You have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. And 
the foul called on Amari Spellman. That's his first foul. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Here's Young. Spellman with the rebound. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look, but this is why we play the game. Cloak loose. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Just five to shoot. Time over the wall. And it's Golden State with another. And you can tell the defender not anticipating the step back. He was headed in the opposite direction. It's stolen by Carroll. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Pass to White. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And the Warriors lead by 11. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. And the foul called on Amari Spellman. And that'll be his second foul of the game. Healed outside. Out the run. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it was good. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. Pass to Mbappe Mute. On the wing, yep. Six on the shot clock. Back to Mbappe Mute. Here's White. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Washington calls timeout. The short rest, very important, and one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late-game push. Substitutions here. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. They trail by 11. Now here's Wall. Oh, he changed it right over Tremont Green. Wow. Just phenomenal at taking it to the defense with that lightning quick first step. Thompson outside to the paint. And there's the call on Montrez Harrell. That's his first foul. On defense, the Wizards. And here is Curry. Five on the clock. Able to guard multiple positions, Bagley's athleticism and speed helps a ton on this end. To the inside. The kick out to Wall. It's stolen by Green. Here's Curry. And Buddy Heald is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Now Evans. Pass to Aminu. Shot clock at six. A shot by Thompson. No one's around. Connects. The jumper drops. And the Warriors lead by 11. You know what? Sometimes something good can come out of a bad possession. It's Wall with the drive. Young from outside. 
The Warriors pull it in. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. Pass to Edwards. Aminu up top. It's stolen by Bagley. Healed outside. To the middle. Wizards passing it around. No good with the triple. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's Golden State. They're on a 14-6 run. On the wing, Evans. Back to Green. Pass to Evans. Now here's Curry. Defended by Bank. Shot clock at five. Healed outside. Now Harold. Defended by Green. It's stolen by Aminu. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. And that'll be his third foul so far. The Warriors making a switch here. There's a minute 47 left to play in the final quarter. Walker in the corner. Six to shoot. Bagley with the block. And a skilled shot blocker. Love how Bagley uses that height and reach to stifle shooting. The lead now in single digits. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. He drops the first one, and that will push the lead to double digits. And so Walker nails both of them. And the Wizards with possession. Ball with it. Pass to Bagley. Wall attacking. Walker with the rebound. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Outside curve. A putback. Yeah, they've sucked the energy out of this arena. Tremendous effort on the road. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. Wall, good. And in the post, Wall's got a pretty well-developed game for a point guard. He can navigate his way through the big bodies with very few problems. Wall with the steal. To the inside. It's stolen by Green. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. John Wall. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. Free throw drops for Green. For this team, Draymond's a true necessity. Does all the little things. Everyone understands how important he is on both ends. It's Wall with the drive. And that one, good. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And that'll wrap it up, folks, for Steve...
never gon' pipe down. Got a lot of boys, you can not count me out. You better count me in before I count down. I'm finna turn it up, turn it up right now. Running through a list of my insecurities and I fell asleep halfway through. Then I woke up with a sense of clarity. I can never be the one for you. 